Hi guys, this is Trapology 101 and thanks once again for tuning in. Here at Trapology 101 we look at current and past events within the world of trap, rap and R&B and analyze them and put them into a historical perspective. Before we start, don't forget to drop a like, a share and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. What's left in YNW Melly's vault? And can he drop a new album? Now, as many of us know, YNW Melly has been away for the past couple of years as he awaits his trial for allegedly, well, you know, having murder on his mind. And acting upon those murderous thoughts and in the process allegedly wiping out two of his day one homies, YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juby. For those unaware of the two YNW associates, I'll leave down in the description some of their songs because the two definitely had some material worth checking out and it's quite pity that the two got taken away from us so early. While incarcerated, Melly has dropped the project Melly vs Melvin which was a mixed bag consisting of finished songs and some leftover materials from his previous projects. Nevertheless, the album has been a commercial success charting at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 200, having two highly successful singles with Suicidal, which later was remixed by the late Juice World, and 223's which featured Glock 9. The songs charted at 20 and 34 respectively on the Billboard Hot 100. Despite the album's immense success, it showed that Melly doesn't really have much left within his world, as besides the two lead singles and a couple of the opening tracks, the album has been mostly forgettable and filled with filler material. And let's not forget that even the hit single 223's was never actually intended to feature on Melly's album, as it was originally a Glock 9 song. All this led to a beef between Melly and Glock 9, but that's a story for another day. The lack of material within his vault also showed on Melly Stugged Out, which featured Kodak Black. In all honesty, I really enjoyed the single, but it was lackluster nevertheless, because it was quite forgettable at times and the hook wasn't as strong as we'd expect from Melly. Besides Melly vs Melvin, Tugged Out and a few features here and there, it seemed that Melly has passed on the torch to his younger brother YNW B Slime and his associate YNW Borton, who is accused of aiding Melly with his murderous thoughts. Both YNW B Slime and YNW Borton have been releasing songs constantly but also playing shows as they most probably try to help Melly to foot his ginormous legal fees as his lawyer must cost quite a bit. Let's not forget that these are the same lawyers that got Boozy Badass off his death row. Considering how scarce and lackluster Melly's material was, I was quite surprised seeing Melly post on Instagram that he's about to drop another album and asking his fans what features we would like to really see and hear. From Melly's post I had two takeaways. Melly truly doesn't have much music left to fill out a tracklist of a full length project. And if he doesn't get out anytime soon, his career might not be over, but he will not have the same level of exposure as before, as the market is constantly evolving and we are bombarded with newer and newer artists, fans nowadays having shorter and shorter attention spans. The fact that he also asked for features made me think that this will be yet another mediocre behind the bars project filled with features to hide the album's mediocrity and imperfections, similarly to Kodak Black's lackluster Billy Israel. On Kodak's project, artists such as Gucci Mane, Tory Lanez, Jack Boy and Lil Yachty had to hop on to assist Kodak, especially where there wasn't enough pre-recorded material left. Plus, even with the already recorded material, at times it feels like it was supposed to be left on the cutting floor and not seen by the public. If we look back at Melly's other projects, he barely had any features on them, always restricting himself to just one or two occasional features, like Kanye West on We All Shine mixtape. Now having said all this, let's see what songs are left within Melly's vault and what features we could have on the album. Now the most logical and the easiest ones to obtain for Melly 
are the ones from the 100k management roster because Melly is also signed to 100k management not putting some of the younger and smaller artists from their catalog onto Melly's album would represent a complete suicide for them, as it's the perfect opportunity for 100k to expose their roster to a more mainstream audience. Now, the first and the most obvious member of the 100k is the late King One. Some of you might recall that on an Instagram live, Vaughn said that he has another song with Melly in his vault. Back when Melly was free and one was alive, the two have been constantly hanging around each other and even offered us some really viral moments. Look, alright, so look, my question for the day is, what is your message to your first body? Tuka, let me get in now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Tuka, yeah. OTLYCLYW, bitch. Oh, god damn, bro. You said first body. Hell yeah. Like, what you mean, first body? To your first body count, bro. Yeah. 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 Like which body? What you talking about? Like which body? What you talking about? Murder on my mind. Who took your virginity? Yeah, fuck that pussy ass hoe. If you want to check out the full video, I'll leave a link down in the description. Plus, Melly has previously featured on Vaughn's Levon James mixtape on the song Rolling, which is definitely worth checking out. Now, the only question left is whether Vaughn's estate is willing to let the song appear on Melly's album or they will keep it for one of Vaughn's upcoming posthumous album. But I'm pretty sure their management, 100k, will manage to sort out the situation and appease both sides of the part. Another artist from 100k roster would be Hotboy, who is a Floridian rapper and was seen hanging a lot around YNW Borderland while he has been free on bond. A feature on a Melly album would definitely represent a great opportunity for Hotboy and it might be a great way to further push him into the mainstream. Thus I think there is no way that 100k won't push him onto the album's tracklist. Other possible 100k members would be YNW Borderland and Melly's younger brother YNW Disline. While being free on bond and not frequenting way too many strip clubs, which then broke his parole and went back to jail, YNW Borden was constantly seen in the studio, thus he must have plenty of material to assist some of Melly's future releases. Why YNW B-Slime showed plenty of chemistry with Melly on their track Dying For You, thus I think B-Slime would definitely be willing to help out his older brother with a feature, maybe one or two, maybe even more, you never know. Moving away from 100k management, another feature would be Lil Durk, as Melly was featured on Free Jamal on Dirk's The Voice. Also, let's not forget that the two also have a collaboration on Murder Beats' Banana Split, which is quite a forgettable song. Thus, I think Dirk would be quite willing to help out Melly, even going as far as offering him a free feature, Dirk being quite known for this practice of offering free features. Also, Dirk might be quite willing to cooperate considering how close Melly and Juan were. A possible song of the two could be Hold Me. We know of it for sure as Chapa Squad previewed it on an Instagram live, he is also known for producing Free Jamal from Lil Durk's The Voice but also for producing some of Juan's biggest hits such as Took Her To The O and Crazy Story Part 3. Kodak Black is also a really safe bet to feature on the album as he has been constantly shutting out Free Melly and he hopped on to Talked Out. Let's not forget that Kodak Black has been quite dissatisfied with the mixing of his vocals on Talked Out, thus Melly might let him feature on another song. If not, Kodak will definitely feature on the album through Talked Out. Young Tug is also a big possibility for appearing on Melly's new album, as Melly is unofficially considered to be a YSL member, as he has been seen hanging around Young Tug together with his fellow YNW crew members before, you know, having murder on his mind and allegedly wiping them out. I feel like Tick Grizzly might also represent yet another safe bet for the album, as Grizzly has previously featured on Melly's Freddy Krueger, Plus, it seems like Grizzly is really keen on working and hanging around Dirk, Vaughn and all of their associates. Melly and Trippy are known to be quite close friends as they've been seen hanging around each other quite a lot and also Trippy featured prominently in Melly's gang music video as they were celebrating Melly's brief release from prison in 2019 before, in a mere two weeks, heading back into prison once again. 
Regarding previous collaborations that do have only one officially released song, Six Kiss, which also featured the late Juice One. Plus that you have an unreleased song that we know of called Mob, which also features the up and coming Fiji Macintosh, who is also Trippy Rat's cousin. For those curious of the song, I'll leave a link down in the description. Regarding Lil Uzi Vert and Melly, the two have unreleased songs and remixes floating around the internet, some of which were already supposed to be released on the free M&M mixtape, which failed to drop in 2019, but some of its material might make it onto Melly's new album. One of Melly's officially released songs with Lil Uzi is also Lil Kid's Pull Up. Speaking of Lil Kid, he too might be a possibility to feature on the album, as he is signed to Youngstock YSL label, but also has yet to be released music with YNW Mali. Now, someone that I think that might be a possibility, but I don't think he'll turn up on the album is Kanye West. While I truly wish for the two of them to collaborate once again, much has changed since they last collaborated and Kanye has gone through a complete personal change. Thus, I think he might try to distance himself from someone that is allegedly accused of double homicide. But at the same time, I'm not excluding the possibility of another collaboration as Melly is quite keen on uh, his religiousness or at least that's the image that he wants to put off for the world. Thus, I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we get some gospel corroboration from the two. While editing, I realized that I forgot about two really important possible features. And these are two of Melly's closest friends and associates, Fredo Bang and Young Benz. Fredo Bang is a Baton Rouge rapper and friend of Melly's who is even said to have hanged out with Melly the same night when he allegedly acted upon his murderous thoughts. Regarding Young Bands, the two have plenty of unreleased material that has already surfaced on the internet and it's quite worth checking out those songs because they have plenty of chemistry together. Now, before we wrap it up, please let me know down in the comment section how much do you think Melly has left in his wall? And also, who would you like to appear on his new album? My personal pick would be Kanye West. In conclusion, in case Melly doesn't get out anytime soon, by the looks of it, there is not much left within his world, so he's mostly at the mercy of his associates and friends' kindness. There are some leaks that do pretty good numbers at the moment, and with a small push from 300 Entertainment, uh, they could definitely turn into a decent success. Other than that, his team can try to revive some of his older songs and make them do numbers on TikTok, similarly as it happened with Melly's Na 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 Boo Boo, hope I pronounced that well, sorry for my pronunciation, which recently went viral and got a further push by Melly's label afterwards. Other than that, Melly's career might take a dive as by looking at the amount of delays his trial had, he is not getting out anytime soon. His career might not be over when he gets out, but it will be hard for him to make up for the lost ground. The best example to showcase how hard is it to make up for the lost ground is Kodak Black, who after sitting in jail for more than two years until getting pardoned by no one else than Donald Trump. He was barely himself anymore and took him quite a time to readjust, only recently being his older outlandish self. I'm a suburban. <laughs> I'm a suburban dude. Hopefully though, with a little help from Drake, with a possible collaboration, Kodak can get back on track to commercial success and hopefully Melly too, with lots of industry help, will manage to get himself back on track and stay away from any alleged murderous thoughts from now on. So yeah, that's been all for today guys and thanks once again for tuning in. If you can, please drop a like a share and a subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Till next time, stay safe and see you around folks.